National news tonight. Preparations continue for Hurricane Florence in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. People were busy filling up sandbags for their homes. Evacuations have been ordered along coastal zones in South Carolina, and a steady stream of traffic could be seen leaving the area. States of emergency have been declared in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. Chief Meteorologist Dave Hovde has been tracking this storm and joins us now with the very latest. Dave? We've been watching this on Surfline during the day. Obviously, the sun is set out on the East Coast, but this is part of the Carolina coastline here that will be heavily impacted. You can follow along at KSBY.com. We have a number of surf cameras out there. This is the concerning news. Winds are still 140. The system is trucking off to the west here at 17 miles per hour. It's actually closer to Bermuda than the U.S. right now, but the track hasn't changed and still a major concern for North Carolina, South Carolina, and the Virginias likely going to make a landfall a little bit later now than we were thinking earlier. So it really looks like Friday morning moving into Saturday. This system is going to just slam the Carolinas. It's not going to move quickly. So here's some of the problems. If you get a category one, you get some minimal damage along the coastline, but things go up quickly from there. Category two winds up to 110 miles per hour. We're talking about a storm, at least a category three or four here. So winds one 129 devastating damage in category three category four. You're talking about catastrophic damage and we're going to be pretty close to a five. There's some concerns that we could get up there and that's sort of a transformative catastrophic event. This is a serious, serious system. We're talking about not only major rain and all that wind, but also storm surge flooding. We could see flooding up to nine feet above ground in some of these inlet valleys here you can see. Also, we're talking about feet of rain for the Carolinas, 10 to 20 inches of rain at the coast, but up at higher elevations, more than two feet. If this system slows down once it makes landfall, it's going to wipe out a lot power outages. So all of these evacuations are, I think, really, really well placed. Still time to get out of the way, but this is a big system impacting a big area. So folks actually have to move hundreds of miles to get out of the way. Kathy, back to you.